Why has Hylion crashed? It's Marco here and welcome back to All About EVs analysis and news on all EV stocks. My god it's been a wild ride for Hylion. As I record this video the stock is below the $30 a share and we were above $50. That's insane. So what happened? Has bad news come out? No. Actually, most of the news on Hylion is pretty bullish. I guess the only way to find out is to hop on the time machine and go back to far 18th of June 2020. And that's when people got started investing at a price that was around the $10 mark. And so we went on this big run up literally from the get go. There was so much excitement surrounding this company for a major reason. This was the first EV SPAC coming into play after Nikola. And we all know what happened to Nikola at the time. The stock was on rocket mode heading straight to the moon. And so there were lots of people who were just after short term gains and people made it then. And so a lot of those people got out, you know, and these people then took profit and the stock dropped back down and it was a 40 to 45% drop. And we then consolidated between 17 and 21 for quite some time before we got our second wind. And that's where we went on on this really, really nice run all the way up to $55 a share. And after that, the stock obviously went through a bit of turbulence. I mean, there was no product development. There wasn't many big customers coming in. So it was basically just speculation. And so guys, I just want to remind you that the stock has got a market cap of less than 1 billion. And that's a very small market cap. And it's going to be very volatile for a very long time, in my opinion. And so we had one last push with people wanting to get in before the merger and obviously make a quick buck. And people wanted to make 100 or 150% within a month or two. A lot of people thought that and it's been incredibly underwhelming because we briefly hit about $53 once the merger actually went through before going on this horrific sell-off down pretty much 45% again. So initially I think we saw a lot of people taking profit. Then there were a lot of short-term investors just wanting to get a quick bag. They have made their money and now they're gone. Who knows, they might keep trading it as some of them may even get in at lower prices. But at the moment, lots of them are gone. And long-term investors bought in before or after all these crazy spikes. And they did not buy the day before the mergers. Just think about it. Then the contract happened and a lot of people bought in again. So the majority of this move was short term investors. And there we go. We just dropped below the $30 a share. It begins with short term traders taking their profits as they do. And then stop losses may have been triggered. And in this snowball effect, people lost so much money. And I can see people are now afraid. There were people who were up 50% and now they are in the red. And this is creating a massive snowball. So here's the thing. Everyone needs to do one of these two things. Either you are a long term investor with the plan to hold at least five years or you simply invest very little and just money that you can lose without major repercussions. And this is the deal. Everybody wants to be a long term investor, but not everybody is willing to be a long term investor. It's easy to say I'm long on Helion when you buy low and the stock doubles the day after. But it's when you buy and you see your investment going in the red and also you feel so bad about it like fear, anger and all of that that you maybe understand that you have invested too much. So if you decide to be a long term investor you need to have a plan and you want to buy your stock little by little. This strategy is called dollar cost averaging. It's not sexy. It means that you have to buy your stock in chunks. So you buy a little today, then the stock may go up or down. Nobody knows. And then you buy again and then you buy again. But what you really have to decide at the very beginning is the 
portion in your portfolio. So if you want your stock to be 5%, 10%, 20% of your portfolio, well, maybe 20% is a bit too much. I suggest like to stay around 5% unless you really believe on the stock. But what I wanted to say is that you really need to buy on multiple occasions and not in one go, especially in these Rony Rona times. And so when Hylion was over 50 bucks, how many of us would have loved to have bought more below $30? Well, now you can do it. Remember, be greedy when others are fearful. And right now, a lot of people have got their shitting pants on. And so it's a great time to buy. And those who are full of fear, it's because they have invested too much money in a company they didn't properly research. And no proper due diligence leads to doubt. And doubt leads to selling. And so the single biggest reason for this sell-off is fear, because there is basically no bad news to support it. Otherwise, there has been nothing but positive news for this company for a very long period of time. Subscribe if you like this video and if you want to know the latest news on EV stocks and also let me know in the comment section below if you like this new format of video and if you're looking for an EV stock that has grown a lot consider Workhorse. The video on the screen right now is about the reasons to be bullish or bearish on Workhorse. Pick an explosive stock. Click on the video.